Welcome to open source documentation. Linux Mint 15 or Olivia has been launched. You can now download and install it on your computer. It comes with various improvements including Cinnamon and Mate. You can choose Cinnamon based or Mate based Linux Mint. This video will show you what to do after installing Linux Mint 15 or Olivia. Some steps are very important for you to know and some other are additional. The first thing to do is to change your repository. Choose the best repository based on your country to get the best result for downloading application and other resources. From the panel you can see that there are various types of repository. In the right side of the window you can see the base repository to your country. You can see the base or the maximum download speed. Based on the indicator, choose the best repository for you. The default internet browser for the Linux Olivia is the Mozilla Firefox 20. But you see that Google is not the default search engine. When you try to search some keyword, you will see that dark dark is the default. Once you set Google as default search engine, you will get easier to find the keyword you need to search on the internet. You can see that it is easy to change default search engine for the browser on Linux Mint. You only need to add Google as the default. The default first page to load in browser on the Linux Mint is Linux Mint homepage, but you can change it into Google to make it easier to get some information from the internet. Go to the browser preference and change the basic or the default first homepage to load on the browser. If you need more than one internet browser, so you can add Chromium as the additional one. To install Chromium is easy. You only need to add or to run one command on the terminal. Once you install Chromium as other browsers, you can use also Google add-ons for browser. You can add easily these add-ons as you easily add the add-ons on the Google Chrome. Skype is probably one of the best communication application on the internet. You can install it easily on Linux by running one command only on terminal. 